The Jedi Order has many secrets and mysteries, some in the form of their very members. Most Jedi within the Order operate as public peacekeepers in the galaxy, helping those in need and serving the light side of the Force in any way possible. There are those Jedi, however, that have deviated from the more conventional role that many of the peacekeepers have adopted throughout the stars. The Jedi Shadows are one faction within the Jedi Order that has taken a different and in some point of view extreme stance against the dark side of the Force. Jedi Shadows were Jedi that operated largely in secret within the Jedi Order. Some members of the Jedi Shadows were so extreme that they went as far as to fake their own deaths so that they may continue to seek out the dark side of the Force in complete secrecy. To become a Jedi Shadow, some members often went on elongated missions that potentially spanned years, faking their own deaths near the end of their missions or secretly returning to the Jedi Temple and deleting any trace of their existence from the archives. The job of a Jedi Shadow was to destroy dark side artifacts such as Sith talismans or holocrons as an attempt to destroy any remnants of the Sith Empire and eliminate any chances they may want day return. Most Jedi obtained their missions and roles within the Order of Shadows directly from the Council of First Knowledge, whose goal it was to preserve and protect all the teachings of the Jedi Order and seek out and destroy that of the Sith. We are keepers of the wisdom of the Jedi, we maintain the Great Library, we oversee the teachings of the Younglings, and we seek out the ancient histories and holocrons that will bring us greater knowledge of the light side of the Force. But we are more than just caretakers. We are Guardians. The Jedi Shadows were constructed as far back in the timeline to the Great Hyperspace War and the first great confrontation the Republic and the Jedi had with the Sith Empire. The Republic has grown and expanded for many generations, encountering no worse than a few interplanetary squabbles and civil wars. But if we should encounter the fabled Sith Empire, we will experience a war so great, so devastating, it can cross the fabric of hyperspace. A conflict spanning the galaxy. After the Republic and Jedi defeated the Sith and their leader, the Sith Lord Naga Sadao, the Jedi Shadows were given a crucial role within the Jedi Order to hunt down and destroy all remaining Sith artifacts throughout the galaxy left over. The Jedi wanted this done because they believed the next generation of the Sith Empire could very well rise out of these artifacts and that a Force user could be corrupted by them and use their power to challenge the Jedi and the Republic at a later date. Because of this dangerous role and job, only the most loyal Jedi were selected to go underground and serve the Jedi as Jedi Shadows. A Jedi Shadow's will had to be exceptionally strong, as they would consistently find themselves within the lull of the dark side of the Force and its many false promises. After the Sith Empire did eventually return, the Jedi Shadows found themselves under the command of the Jedi Covenant, who used their gift of foresight to see into the future and seek out the Sith. The Shadows would then be deployed into the field to destroy any remaining relics that the Covenant had discovered. Even in times where it seemed the Sith were no more, the Jedi Shadows remained vigilant and became the leading experts within the Jedi Order on the Sith Lords, both old and new. As many Jedi seemed to forget the terror of the Sith, the Shadows never would. These Jedi would always look for the next dark place the dark side could rest and nurture itself in, determined to destroy it before it could ever become a threat. Jedi Shadows would be sent into the Heart of Darkness with hopes of destroying its source and any servants of the Sith Order. In very broad terms, the Jedi Shadows were the specialized Sith Hunters of the Jedi Order. Over their generations of servitude, Jedi Shadows garnered the reputation of being extremely aggressive as they failed to tolerate the dark side of the Force in even the smallest doses, believing one could not use pieces of the dark side even if used in moderation. A Jedi Shadow would not hesitate to kill a comrade if they believed the dark side to be within them, and in some cases drove themselves insane with worry that the dark side was everywhere, fearing deep within themselves that they would never be able to escape it. This in part was due to their overexposure to its manipulation and power that it gained over them. The role of a Jedi Shadow reminds me of one of my favorite quotes by a German philosopher. Whoever fights monsters should see to it that in the process he does not become a monster, and if you gaze long enough into an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. As the shadows of the Jedi Order became more extreme, they were deployed less and less by the Jedi Order, as they posed a threat not only to the dark side, but to their fellow Jedi at times. This caused several of them to completely go rogue from the Jedi Order and venture off to fight the dark side of the Force on their own. Despite their struggles, however, Jedi Shadows remained one of the longest lasting organizations within the Jedi Order, even operating during the Clone Wars. After the rise of the Galactic Empire, it was believed the last of the Jedi Shadows, whose name was Maw, fell to the dark side 
when the Inquisitor Jarek promised him power and a role in a new empire after Palpatine's death. Ma eventually accepted Jarek's offer, becoming a Dark Jedi and ending the long line of Jedi Shadows. To the one called Ma, a bitter individual that loathes all and holds loyalty to few, a strong and formidable foe. For every cord of muscle, there is hatred. It is this hate that keeps his aging body strong. So what are your thoughts on the shadows of the Jedi Order and their role and responsibility of keeping all the artifacts of the Sith Order at bay and ensuring the Sith never return? Also, would you like to see any Jedi shadows in canon and what role would you like to see them play if they were ever to enter canon? If you can't get enough Star Wars, I recently released a new podcast where we address all the news revolving around the franchise, as well as debates and speculation about the series. Link to the most recent episode will be in the description down below if you'd like to check it out. If you would like to join me in the daily Star Wars discussion and debates, follow me on Twitter at StupendousWave. Link will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video and feel it deserves it, it would really help me out if you could leave a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything Star Wars related from news, explanations, and theories from a galaxy far, far away. If you have any video topics you would like to see addressed in a future video, do not hesitate to leave